Okay, Microsoft Word is user-friendly on some things and not so friendly on others. One of those is how it does page numbering. So if you have a Word document and you want to just straight up add page numbering starting at page one, it's easy enough to do. You go to insert, page numbers, decide where you want it, and insert it starts at one and goes on to the end. But as you can see with this document that I'm working on, I have a title page, I have a copyright information, introduction, and so I don't actually want my page numbering to start until I get to the preface page, which should be showing one instead of four. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm just going to hit Control Z really quickly to remove those page numbers. Okay, now in order to get my preface page to be page one, which is, as you can see, four of 61. So I want my mouse clicker to be clicked on that heading so you can do it with whatever you want it to be from there you want to go to layout and you've got this breaks here click on that it'll bring up the drop down and you'll have this one here that says next page insert section break and that's what we want we want to create two sections here one section is my section with all the content and the other section is that beginning section where I don't want any page numbers so I click on that if you want to make sure that everything is set up correctly go to your home and then in your paragraph click this little paragraph icon here and you'll see when you scroll up you should have something showing here which is your section break so I already had a page break in and my section break is the one that I just now added so we know that this is set correctly the way I want it set so I'm gonna click on it again to remove that now still starting on my preface page I want to go to insert page numbers just like I did before I'm gonna to go to top right of page which is where I want my page numbers to be and it's gonna insert page numbers but notice it's still inserting with this starting at page 4 which is the page that it's on that's okay we're gonna fix this we're in our headers and foot footers design tab already so make sure that you don't accidentally click off and go to this design tab and you have this one here you see where it says link to previous so this is still telling it to link to that previous section we don't want that so just click on that and it's no longer highlighted perfect now we can go back to insert page numbers and this time what we want is we want format page numbers click on that it's going to open up this dialog and this is where we're going to change it so now it's saying continue from previous section which is why it's starting at four we don't want that we want this section to start at page one so just click start at page one hit ok now it's changed we have a one showing almost there scroll up and you'll see you've still got page numbers showing in that previous section well we don't want that so i'm going to just go up and i'm going to click on where the number one is and then i'm still going to be on my insert and then i'm going to go page numbers and then I'm going to go remove page number so it removed that page number from the first section if I scroll down my preface now my preface now is showing as page one I'm just going to click on this page to get out of the header view page two and so forth and so on so that's exactly how I want it so my advice if you're following this and it's not working for you double check to make sure you have followed all of these steps correctly if you make an error if you don't do it in the correct order if you decide to skip ahead because you don't want to watch the, uh, an entire YouTube video all the way through it might not work for you I do this all the time and I still sometimes mess it up um, so the the key is really just make sure that you're following the steps in that correct order in order to get those pages to show as blank and then the page that you want to be page one to actually show up this way when this prints up it's going to show that correctly so as always hopefully you found this useful hopefully it worked for you um, if you have any problems with it uh, you can leave a comment maybe somebody will be able to help you I might not be able to help you because well I'm not a Microsoft Word support technician uh, I just learned this from uh, working there for so many years and uh, doing edits to books all right have a nice day